Yo right, guys, this is Gameboy Luke here and welcome back to another Poke Crate unboxing video. Today I have April's Poke Crate uh, and I have no idea why it's taken so long to get one of these. Um, I did have to contact Poke Crate in the end because I didn't receive my last couple of boxes. I'm not sure whether the last box I did was in April, no sorry, was, whether it was March or February. But this is April's box so I do apologize if I did skip March. Um, and I want to try and make Sunday like unboxing day because I have so many crates and all kinds of stuff. I have the 1UP box, I have the Poke Crate, I have two loot crates sat underneath my desk that I do need to get into as well but like I said today we're doing the poke crate unboxing hopefully next week I should get time to do the loot crate unboxing as well maybe we can do both in one session or maybe we'll just do like one for each um, one for each Sunday I guess because I never really upload on Sundays anyway but like a quick 10 minute unboxing is honestly not a problem so we're gonna quickly jump into this I'm not sure if poke crate have um, their website up yet um, I do, uh, I do know that they've got something, they're working on something, they're working on, I think at the moment they're only really, uh, giving out subscriptions to, uh, YouTubers and stuff like that at the moment, uh, which isn't great, I understand, um, but I'm hopefully, hopefully they'll have their website up really, really soon, but I have just undone the seal, so you guys are once again going to see what's in the box, you can actually see it's really dusty, but, um, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, lift the, lift the lid up, lift the lid up, the, the lid of life, inside because because the, the actual I'm recording this from my Elgato and it has some crazy ass delay on there so you guys can go ahead and see have we got Ash's hat from like Master Quest are you, are you serious is that what that is <laughs> is that what that is oh my god that's incredible that's honestly uh, incredible I don't know if you can see that in the webcam sorry uh, in the in the GoPro sorry uh, a lot of people didn't like the GoPro because of the uh, the way like the whole FOV thing fades around. But yo, this I want you to know that this is like really spongy. Like this is really really spongy. But like, should I try on? Hold on. Let me try. Let me try this on. Let me try this back on. Oh. Uh, and then when then when shit gets when shit gets serious, I'm just like <sighs> I'm in like the Pokemon battle. And I'm just gonna like totally send out my Rotom and be all like, yo. <laughs> I think we're gonna rock this out. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna roll with this. Oh wait, I can't do my hat. Can I do this? Uh, there, yo! <laughs> I look like a typical trainer from the Pokemon series. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Next we have Yo! Yo, I, I, if you guys remember correctly, I actually, wait, 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 on my other keys, I have this lanyard. I got this lanyard, I'm gonna show it to this camera, I got, I got this lanyard in like a Poke Crate a couple months ago, but now, we have this blue one, it's like a blue greeny color, and it has Pikachu sat in a rubber ring. Yo, I think I'm gonna have to make the switch, I'm gonna have to make the switch. This is awesome, I really, really like this, thank you so much. Guys, the Poke Crate, this is... This is nice and powerful. I really do like this thing. I have to make the switch. I have to make the switch. Oh my god. Okay, so next in the box, we do have um, we oh, we have the we have a Victini. We have a Victini. Um, one of these little standy things. So what I'll do very very quickly is I will just unpack this because I did get one on the very first Poke Crate I ever unboxed. Uh, I did get a Emble, well an Emble, sorry, uh, and the actual figurine is just sat on my shelf. I don't know if you can see the shelf in the you might just be able to see it, but it's, it is over there. Uh, so all we gotta do now is pop him. Wait, Victini. How? Is there another piece in here? Is there another piece in here? I'm pretty sure he just slots in, but uh, am I Oh wait, there's a piece there's a piece stuck to the to, to the bottom. I'm doomed. I'm stupid. I'm stupid because uh, Victini is a f obviously is jumping off the ground in this. I don't know. You can't see me doing this, but I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Right, there, I got it. So now we have Victini. The camera probably won't focus because my webcam is a bitch. This is little shit. I shred it. Wait, hold on. Oh yeah, it focused then. You can see it anyways, you, you can see it, you can see it. So if, if I pop Victini, I don't know if you can see that in the GoPro, because the, the, I mean the camera lens is quite good, but if I pop him... I'm just trying... <laughs> There's so much delay on the webcam, uh, on, the, on the GoPro, but I'll pop him, I'll stick him there for the time being. And we do have some really nice things now, I'm going to take the box away just because of stuff, but... Did anyone ask for the Heed Mo? 
check that out. We got a little, we got a little button with the, with the, with Espion's face on it. I might, if Mo doesn't watch this video, Mo doesn't watch my videos. Uh, I might have to hit him up with this. I might next time I see him, I might have to just give this to him because I feel like this is something he would want to pin to his hat or something. I don't know. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna put that there. Next we have um, some more. Oh my god! I, I need somewhere to put this box. Like seriously, I'm gonna move my keyboard out of the way. I don't know if you, 90s kids out there, do you remember these? These are like the things you used to get in like the packets of crisps or the chips rather like as, as the Americans refer to them as Like you would open up a bag of chips and you would get one of these inside I remember getting these like way back in school We used to try and collect them and you would trade them and all kinds of stuff and like you can play like this game where you it Doesn't work on on this surface, but like you can you can puck them That's amazing that's crazy. Yeah, there, look, there's the actual. I don't know if you can see in that web, in this webcam, probably better. Uh, it might be a little bit bright, but you can see that the Lay's icon. Just uh, if it focused, god damn it! Please focus. You can see the Lay's icon there. So you did used to get these in bags. I remember. I remember. I remember. So I put that there. Uh, next we have. Oh my god, this is so much nostalgia in this box. I need the camera to focus, please. This is so much nostalgia. This is uh, a card. I'm not particularly sure where you get them from but uh, it's one of those card things that um, is in reference to the Pokemon movie the notorious team rocket and then we also have a, uh, a another side to it right here and I'll read it out what it says it goes the tears of Pokemon the dust settles and there is an a the dust settles and there in the middle of the desecrated arena lies the silent form of ash Pikachu walks solemnly over to its fallen master and tries to tries with all its electric power to revive him but it can't around the arena every Pokemon and every po uh, every Pokemon and every Pokemon clone begins to cry and mourn Pikachu's eyes well up with tears at the sight of his silent master as they cry silently something magical happens dun 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 and speaking of this I've been so hooked on like the Pokemon movie uh, soundtrack recently uh, oh wow Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, there, there's two. So I just read the back of this one with all the Pokemon crying and stuff. And in my head, I can hear Brother My Brother playing. So it's like, Brother. And then here we have the Notorious Team Rocket, sorry. Little do our heroes know that with while Ash is having his Pokemon battle, Mist Misty and Brock are preparing us for their scrumptious lunch. The boss has once more set the bungling, the bungling terrible trio that is Team Rocket, Jesse, James, and Meowth out to steal rare Pokemon and spy on them. But all they, can, all, but all they can, but all that they can think of is rumbling in their stomachs. James states it best when he says, "I settle for a bit of Pikachu." I actually remember that from the movie as well. So, got a little nostalgia trip right there. Uh, we have a couple of Pokemon cards right here, and I do like what they um, what they what they what I just saw. I'll show you guys in a sec. We got a uh, a Shalmet and a Japanese Nidoran. The lighting isn't great on the um, and it's too bright on this one, so like I need to kind of like get some kind of natural light going on here. But you can see that there. Um, so I got those two Pokemon cards. Then Pokecrate have supplied us with a Pokecrate sticker, uh, and I actually really like this. I might just have to stick this on my computer or something. Uh, just like a, as a backgroundy thing, but I do like this. Uh, finding it is this, is it a sticker or is it like a? Yeah, it's a sticker. Yeah, it's a sticker. I'll make sure to put that on my computer, Pokey Crate. Nice an advertisement for you. Then next, are we actually? Ha I've actually, um, I've actually received one of these before. But these are the um, the Pokemon tattoos, which I already have. So now I have two. <laughs> I have two sets. I might just have to take these around with me and hand them out. Free tattoos at packs or something. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> Excuse me, and then finally we have a Primal Clash um, trading card booster pack. So what we'll do is, if I remember, I honestly can't remember uh, how to do this. I'm gonna look away because I just opened it backwards. But we got the TCG code card. Then it's one, two, three, and the f forward right, and then I flip it over. So I don't know if there's much light on this camera, um, but what I'll do is I'll just do it from here. Um, so we got Maxi's hidden trick. Hidden ball trick. I'm just trying to get the best lighting view, and then there's like, yeah. So Maxi's hidden ball trick. Then we have Rhydon. Like, the horn. The horn, Mo. The horn. Look at that, Rhydon. That's actually really powerful art. Then we have uh, experience share. Nice and experience share. Next we have a Sphere. 
Nice and J YouTube gamer. Those steel caps. Claps. Then we have a <laughs> we have Paul. We have Paul the Beater. Where's, where's the where's the Drake and Meteor and all the and the Roar of Time and stuff? Where's that? Then we have a Chin Chow. Nice and wave splash. Look at that. Some, sometimes I've, I feel like some of the moves that are on these Pokemon should actually be in the Pokemon game. Then we have the uh, this Electric here. I actually really like that art. That's really nice. It's like sat in the middle and, and in like a meadow howling and stuff. That's really cool. Then we have Tentacool, Lost in the Waves. Lost in the Waves. Then we have uh, another Rhydon. This one's a, uh, what's the, what do they call them? I can't remember what they call them. I haven't done trading cards in ages, but it's like a uh, Reverse Hollow. That's what it's called. And then finally, our, our, our rare is... Diggers Bay! <laughs> we got a Diggers Bay card with Ear Dig and Hammer in. So that actually does it for this Pokemon unboxing. These things are never too long. So I normally run through things really quickly. I have like a, a little moment with stuff. Like, I feel like what's in the favorite the favorite thing I got was the um was the lanyard, which I have to just yeah. This This is nice. I like this a lot. Um I really want I really want to put this on my um my keys. And it's nice to have a spare one now. I have a second one so I can put that um Currently, I have all this, and I have my little Smash Emblem and kinds and stuff on it, so this would definitely suit me better with it being blue and stuff. But yeah, if you guys haven't enjoyed this unboxing, please do go ahead and check out Pokerate down below. I'll leave their Twitter below, and I'll also leave their website. I'm not sure if they're taking subscriptions yet, but if they are, I will leave a description down below for you guys to check out. Um, but with that, with that being said, I hope you guys, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this unboxing, and I will see you guys next time.